So what are you? Are you a Mac? Are you a PC? Are you someone who has one of those big old bulky beastly computers that can do a gazillion things in the in the blink of an eye? Or are you someone who might have an older machine who's uh, you know, somewhat limited on how many things they can do at once? Maybe you're a mobile person and you have a laptop handy. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about a couple of minor adjustments that we can make in the settings to maximize your experience with Superior 2.0, okay? It makes things a little more efficient. So now what we want to do is come on over here to the Settings tab and press it, okay? And the portion I want to look at is right here at the top, okay? From pretty much the Force Cache mode on to where it says Memory Usage Limit. Now, the reason I want to do this is because by checking some of these boxes, you may find that the kit sizes will shrink dramatically, okay? Thus, helping the performance of your computer, whatever it might be. So, first, I want to talk about the Force Cache Mode. Now, this one right here tells a sampler to go ahead and start in cache mode, all right? Now, it's going to be helpful if you want to check and make sure that your system is going to meet the requirements of the kits. And next on the list is the default 16-bit kit. Now, this is something I like to go ahead and use, all right? And just to give you an idea, I have a pretty powerful computer. I'm using a, a Mac Pro with eight cores and six gigs of RAM, you know, so I'm not hurting for power right now, but I just like knowing that my machine will be able to handle these kits in 16-bit mode regardless. I mean, it shrinks the sizes down big time. Okay, so next on the list is no visual hits, and this too is pretty self-explanatory. It pretty much disables the drum animation, all right? And if you find that you're having some performance issues, this may be something that you want to go ahead and check, and it will stop the drum animations from happening, okay? Next on the list is no meters. This lets you choose to have meters or not. And again, this could help in performance slightly, all right? But it could also be good if you prefer a more static type of an interface, all right? There's nothing wrong with that. Also, right down here, you have another option that is called Memory Usage Limit. As you can see, by default, it comes up as 1,200 megs. Now, what this means is that is the memory limit Superior 2 will use to make sure that your computer doesn't crash. Now, this is gonna be a good number for most systems. However, you may wanna make it higher or you may need to make it lower depending upon your system, okay? And those are just a few quick options that you can select or not to ensure that your system's performance will be up to par and everything's gonna run smooth, okay? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you stay tuned. We're about to get started on the construction window right here. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.